So, all right. So there's, there's, we want. I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about that, how to finance this. Um, Scott Jorgensen is the president of Solarza, a new solar energy company that focuses on solar cooling, uh, quite unique to your to, to Florida. He has a finance and accounting background from Price Waterhouse, and um, he's one of the skilled. You know, the, what I really love about our industry is meeting people like Scott. The really skilled and self-motivated entrepreneurs who have come into our space to take scientific ideas and engineering marvels and make businesses out of them. So please welcome Scott Jorgensen. Um, it's, it's, it's just a little bit after 3 p.m. On a, on a Florida summer day. Um, could, you, could you imagine if there wasn't any air conditioning in this room? Right. There'd be quite a few heads nodding off. Uh, I don't know about, about your addiction to, to oil, but I know definitely I'm addicted to air conditioning. Okay? And, and so um, Solarsa wants to thank our governor, Charlie Chris, the summit team, and, and many of the, the public utilities that Solarsa has been working with over the past year. Their enthusiasm and hard work has provided enormous encouragement and motivation to a startup company in Tampa, Florida called Solarsa. Solarsa is about using the sun's rays to produce heating, cooling, and hot water. What an elegant solution to cooling. The hotter the sun gets, the more cooling gets produced. Solar cooling reduces peak electrical demand loads and is four times as efficient as the best air, condi air conditioning systems available today. Solarsa sells directly to homeowners and businesses and also develops solar energy properties in partnerships with ESCOs and financiers like, like Honeywell, Bank of America, and Chevron. Our solutions provide predictable and reduced prices for heating, cooling, and hot water. Solar thermal cooling technology is not new. There are literally hundreds of solar thermal installations around the world today. And for the past several years, the Solarsa team has been working hard to bring the latest solar cooling technology to the United States. Our efforts paid off this past October on the mall in Washington, D.C., when the underdog team from Santa Clara University captured third place in the 2007 Solar Decathlon using Solarsa's first energy independent system, an integrated solar cooling, heating, and hot water system. On our topic of investing in emerging technologies, Solarsa would like to propose a $1 billion solar cooling initiative to position Florida as the world's leader in the implementation of solar cooling technologies. This solar cooling initiative requires loan guarantees by the state of Florida and joint ventures between developers, public utilities, and financiers to deliver over 100,000 tons of solar thermal powered cooling to city, state, and county government buildings within five years. A billion dollar investment in solar cooling shifts four billion dollars in fossil fuel purchases to create jobs directly in our economy. Using power purchase agreements as the financial vehicle for funding solar thermal cooling projects the solar cooling industry needs this commitment from the state of Florida to provide loan guarantees for $1 billion in total projects to attract the capital markets and manufacturers needed to start and sustain a green economy in Florida. Solarsa is asking the state of Florida to provide these loan guarantees on power purchase agreements for the development of solar cooling technologies on government properties. Again, we're talking about proven technologies with paybacks just over 10 years. The U.S. Department of Energy has a $10 billion loan guarantee program for new innovative renewable technologies focused on large-scale projects. We asked the state of Florida to implement a similar program with proven solar cooling technology for projects between 1 million to 10 million with paybacks of less than 12 years. Most of America is addicted to air conditioning, and this habit is not expected to change. In Florida, our addiction to air conditioning consumes up to 
of Florida's total energy bill of $20 billion per year. Salarsa is ready to help our governor help our citizens. Thank you. I hope there's some media in the, in the audience that's going to note that there was a proposal made here this afternoon for a $1 billion Florida unique program. If you think about it, creating markets uh, through government policy and economics, uh, you can't run against the grain. You know, if you don't have wind, you're not going to create a wind market. But if you do have afternoon heat and an air conditioning load, this is your marketplace. So well done, outstanding proposal. We're going to shift here and talk a little